Shea Bear 1000 here. I'm sitting on the tailgate of the truck. It's 11.30 at night-ish. We'll check here in a minute. Um, I'm going to do a review for you guys on this little flashlight that came in with that Ozark Trail Kit because I feel I didn't do it justice. I feel it deserves a good and honest review. And I'm going to put it up against a couple other lights that I have here. We're going to talk about them. And we're going to see which one might be best for you in certain situations or for me or for whatever. So stick around and let's check these lights out together. There's going to be a lot of information in here as much as I can give you that is. So stick around and let's get to this. Okay guys, like I said, it's it is 11:36 at night. Monday, February 8th. It's 66 degrees. And it's supposed to be warmer tomorrow. So, uh, I brought my phone out here for a reason cuz I have some information on these lights. Hopefully hopefully you can see them pretty well, but I figured I would start the video out here because this is where we're going to be trying these lights out. <coughs> Okay, so first, what we have here, now this one here, if you guys remember, came in that Ozark Trail camping kit, okay? First thing we're going to check out is a machete, because we need a machete. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this up. This is, this is just a cheap Walmart thing. Now, if you noticed... I was trying to turn that to zoom it, but you don't have to do that. You actually slide this out and in. So that's pretty cool. Uh, this runs on three AAA batteries. It is 160 lumens. And it will go, it's 60 meters. Um, it is one LED. You can probably see that in there. And it will go 60 meters, which would be, what, 180 feet-ish, right in there. Um, so, we'll, we'll get to the prices of these here in a minute. So, I have this. I also have this EverReady flashlight here. One of those cheap, takes the big square 6-volt batteries. And if you can see in there, it has one. I've been sitting in my garage. And, uh, it has one LED in it as well. We'll get, like, again, we'll get to the prices. And we have this Hyper Tough, just cheap. They call it a flashlight, but this is more like a spotlight. Okay, it's got a little stand. Now, this is a rechargeable light. USB right there. Um, okay, this is hy Hyper Tough. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go through each one of these. I don't know what the lumens is on this. We'll have to check again. This one is 300 lumens, okay? So, now this one, I can't find it online by itself. Okay, now I did find a kit. I'm going to bring it up right now. Shit. Okay, I did find a kit... on eBay. Now... It, it's a combo with batteries, and I'll show it to you here in just a second. And here's, here's what it is right here. It comes with a, uh, a headlamp. It looks like you get, what, six batteries. So each one takes three AAA batteries. So this is the only one I could find. Well, it's not the only one, but uh, that I could... I, without buying that whole $30 kit. Now this one is $15.60, okay? Um, so, let's uh, read more about this. Um, now I noticed there is a seal in the bottom of this where you open this up to take your battery pack out. There is a seal in there. So, I am not claiming that to be waterproof. I'm guessing it is water resistant. So, you can use it out in the rain 
and such. Uh, right there, what it says is one times six LED zoom aluminum flashlight with three modes for high, low, and flash equipped with 160 lumens up to two hours of battery life and a range of 60 meters. Okay, so um, that would be um, six times zoom is what it is, but it's one LED. Alright. Um, and like I said, it, it comes with the headlamp that has a 1x3 LED uh, headlamp with three modes for high, low, and red flashing lights. Uh, 130 lumens brightness with a range of up to 60 meters. And includes six AAA batteries. And so, like I said, for 15, let's just round it off to the highest number. Okay, which would be uh, $16. All right. That's this one. So that's let's say that's the price of half that kit, and uh, and you get a headlamp. I know what you're thinking. Well, it's not a very good deal. I think it is to me. Now maybe not to you, but in my personal opinion. Now I'm not getting sponsored by any of these guys. I'm not getting paid by them. Okay, I just have their lights, and I happen to really really like this one. Uh, to me, this this is just by itself. I wouldn't hesitate to pay fifteen dollars for this, in, uh, you know, on its own. Okay, now let's go to this Ever Ready. This is just one of those cheap Ever Ready flashlights. Um, I brought it up here. Oops, sorry guys, I'm behind the camera. Um, so let's go to the Ever Ready. Um, there's. Uh, a bunch of different places you can get them, uh, but that particular one there is uh, you can get it at nine fifty nine. Let's say ten dollars, okay, at Napa, um, and it, it does it does come with the uh, it does come with a battery. Um, let's see where else can you get it? That particular one. Um, it says Publix delivery uh, 819 it's the same thing you get that battery but you have to have a $10 minimum order um, okay and the ever ready which was uh, I'm, I'm going to get to here in a minute but the ever ready battery through this company ace hardware is 649 which would be seven dollars if because eventually you're going to have to buy another battery right okay so there's that now let's go to The Hyper Tough, okay. This one you can see is all dirty, well used, because I have used this a lot. We've used that fishing, camping. I've used it around the house, under cars, whatnot. Uh, now, what I found on that one is uh, I did find it on at Walmart online. Only three left for twelve eighty-eight. Let's call that thirteen dollars. Okay, it is three hundred lumen, as I said, with a rechargeable battery. Okay, um, I don't. It doesn't. I'll give you some of the. Well, I'll just it's real quick here. Um, it says uh, double housing with rubber cover and trigger locking switch. Rechargeable lithium-ion battery LED indicator turns green when fully charged. Half the size and weight of comparable halogen spotlight. Okay, <coughs> so this is actually considered a spotlight. So it does have the you can you know you can set that thing up. Okay, and it does have the trigger switch, so you can you know hands-free. It is rubber. But if you can see down in there, there is one little LED. I'm thinking they're all the same LEDs. Okay. Now, and it is, it is a lot lighter than this. I don't know about half the weight, but it is significant lighter than this because these 6 volt batteries are huge and big. You guys have seen them, them big square batteries, which I can show you right now. Um, 
Now you can get the cheapest batteries I found for these are those cheap heavy duty batteries from Dollar General for three bucks. Now I don't know if you can convert these to rechargeables, you know, buy a kit, battery kit for rechargeables, but dang man, what are you going to pay for that, you know? Now this, I can buy at Walmart, fairly reasonable, triple A rechargeables, I already have chargers, I've got double A's and triple A rechargeable batteries in, in, in a lot of my, my, uh, my paranormal investigation kits, um, in our mics, we have the rechargeable uh, AA batteries. Um, like I say, you pay up for them, but you only have to buy them once in, in how long. You go buying, uh, like I said, uh, what did this say, two hours. Uh, you go buying them cheap batteries, and it probably won't last you that long. Okay? Because I, I found out that cheap batteries will not last you long. You buy a pack of those 10, 10 pack or whatever, 20 pack of these batteries for like three bucks. They're not going to last you. They don't even last, you know, a month in a remote control. Like a television remote control. Okay, so I will end up putting rechargeables in these. Now these two here I did not buy. They were her father's. Okay. Now, I'm going to get you set up, and we're going to shine these things down the street, and I know it's not a very fair comparison with this little thing and them two big-ass lights, but my way of thinking is there is one LED in each one of these, okay? So I think it should be a, a fairly decent comparison, okay? So let me get you set up, pointing down the street, and we'll shine these lights, and I'll show you which one. I do not have my headlight headlamp on. Uh, the light that is on right now is our light that we bought at Walmart for 30 bucks, which we use this thing all the time, guys. Now, it still, to me, is not worth 30 bucks if, if that thing, that light came with a uh, rechargeable battery, I would, I would say 25 to 30 would be fair. It's still cheaply made. The tripod kind of sucks because if you forget and you go to turn the light and, and that tripod to raise it up and down, you just turn it, raise it up, and turn it again. If you go to turn that light, it drops. And so there's a lot of things I don't like about it. Right now, I would say $15 would be plenty for that. And this is my hand warmer. This is what I'm running that light on. Okay, so let me get you set up out here, guys. And let's uh, put these things to the test. Starting with the hyper tough okay guys here's the hyper tough now there is a street light behind me there's nothing I can do about it and there's a street light way down there and my neighbors have one here on the left of us but here is the hyper tough here I'll put you in I don't want to turn my headlamp on and you know contaminate anything but there's the hyper tough okay so now I'm gonna take you off a of night vision all right now we're gonna turn this on Let me back you up here just a little bit. Now that is shining way down the street there, okay? Now like I said, the little flashlight is only 160 lumens. This is 300, all right? But I can't adjust this in any way. So now, let's go get the Ever Ready. Okay, again, guys, I have you on night vision just for a second to show you. This is the Ever Ready flashlight. Okay, now let's go ahead and turn you off of night vision. Okay, ever ready? You're up. And there's this. Now it's not bad. Don't get me wrong, it is not bad. It, it does not shine down nowhere near as far, but it does shine down a good ways. Okay, there's on the telephone pole. All right, so yeah, it's a decent light for as cheap as it is. But the batteries, I mean, come on, they're huge and everything. We're going to get to that, too. All right, now, let's shut this off, and let's go with uh, the little baby light, and let's see how well it does. And again, night shot. Okay, we have our, well, my little favorite light here. Okay, so let's get this turned on. Let me get you off a of night vision here. All right, now let's turn this on. There we go. Look at that. Now that is all the way in. 
So I am guessing, yes, that is shining. It's 160 lumens. I am pretty impressed with that. And if you ask me, I do believe that is shining 180 feet, 60 meters. All right, there's the telephone pole. But what I can do with this, okay, see that's, let me show you something here. If you're looking for something on the ground, see, you bring it up. Pretty impressive, right? I think so. Now let's pull this out. Let's go on out here. And I'm just going to slide this out like this, or slide it back in like this. And there we go. Now look at that. I look over here in the woods. Wow. Amazing. And then down on the ground, the closer you get, you know, the shine over here in the woods again. And one more time, we will get the camera to focus. And I got a car coming. So, okay. So there you go, guys. There is that one. All right, real quick before we go in the house, I'm back here at the truck. I'm shining across the street. There is Jerry's old house. So we'll kind of shine right over here. Got the Hyper Tough right here. There's the Hyper Tough. It's a great spotlight. Okay. There's the Hyper Tough. Now, we have Mr. Ever Ready here. Now, this battery, guys, this ain't bad, but this battery is, it, it's almost, I mean, I've only used this a couple times. It's probably got maybe. 10 minutes on it okay on this battery and it is one of those cheap dollar store batteries i do believe if i remember right um so there's that one and the hyper tough is not a full charge either it's probably got maybe 20 minutes on it and the little flashlight the uh, ozark trail light here has um look at that this has about 15 to 20 minutes on it as well with cheap batteries i know this is not science guys but i'm not a scientist i don't have all the equipment you know to to do all that and besides this is not something that science has to be involved in you got to look at it and see with your eyes and go is that going to be the light i need you know you follow what i mean so no we're not going to sit and leave them run down for you know until they go all, both all go down i'm not going to do that because everybody has their own own um take on their batteries they have their favorite batteries as well as i do i like the rechargeables some people like just buying cheap batteries so it's not you know that's not going to help us out any i'm just showing you the difference in these okay now let's uh go ahead and Pull this back, and there we go. Nice. Okay, so out and back in. And just for fun, let's turn my headlamp on here. Okay. I like this thing. Okay guys, so we're back in the house. Uh, hopefully you can hear me okay. I don't want to talk loud because it's probably going on midnight now. Um, yep, 12.02. I don't know if the camera's fuzzy or if it's my eyes. In conclusion, in my opinion, this is by far going to be my go-to light. I wish I could buy just just this light by itself without the headlamp I can't find it uh, so I wish I had another one of these uh, these lights are fine to keep around the house you know we, we've used both of these fishing okay um, <clears throat> this light is not very impressive at all big bulky heavy and the batteries I don't care even three dollars I mean, this thing, even with a brand new unused battery, this thing will not light up hardly any brighter than what you saw outside. Um, just a cheap, 
this light here, it's a badass. Okay. It's killer. It's a great flashlight. Great to have on the boat. It is rechargeable. And it is hands free. Now, and you got a place for a lanyard. Um, as far as a flashlight, this is not a flashlight per se. It's more of a spotlight. Uh, it'd be great on the boat. But look at this thing, guys. Put this in your... Let me zoom you out a little bit here. Put this in your tackle box. You have a big tackle box. Uh... Put this in your toolbox. You have to have a big toolbox like I got, and still, you know, this got to go in a big drawer. Now, this thing, guys, I think for the money by far, if you want to keep this in your glove box, your toolbox, your tackle box, your pocket, uh, keep it in your boat, uh, keep it in your drawer in the house. Look at that small I mean it's okay here's my glasses we all know about how big a pair of glasses is there it is you know I mean it does have a lanyard <coughs> now the next one of these I get I'm gonna pay up for it and I'm gonna get the 550 lumen uh, but if I can't find one of these because I'd really like to because uh, like I said this came in the Christmas present I got I'd like to get monkey one of these so if I have to what I will do is I'll get the you know for 15 16 bucks I will I will get her one with the headlamp you know it's always good to have a headlamp but uh, I'm sold on these now uh, I do want to have another one of these 160 lumens come on man that's you know it's it's amazing for for that you know I mean it's just it's amazing um, and like I said it's got whoops there's high there's low and there's the flash mode now a reason why I didn't show you that on this one it's on or it's off that's it there's no modes I didn't show you any modes on this one because it's on or it's off there's no modes they're standard where that beam however that beam shines that's what it is this you know you can open it up or close it this is a great light um, I I'm sold on this light and the set band light um, like I said these two lights think about it maybe in your application you would rather have one of these if you're gator hunting down in Florida that's a thing um, I know if you're coon hunting, you usually have your lights on your head, but let's say, you know, you, you've got a friend with you, he can shine this up in the trees with you, it's perfect for that. It's great on a boat if you have someone that's out front holding it for you, shining down the river or the lake or whatever the case may be. It's a great light, don't get me wrong, especially for the money. It's an awesome light if you have a use for a spotlight this big. But as far as my go-to light, it is going to be this one now we will stay we st will still take this camping and night fishing and you know using out in the backyard shining on the trees when it's storming because we like to look at the trees now we got we both have one uh so we will because we car camp so this is not really a big deal for me to carry uh if you're a hiker by all means get this for a hundred this is 300 lumens, this is 160, and you, you saw the comparison. I mean, come on. For I mean, it, I think that speaks for itself. So, But we got a call today, just real quick. Our kitchen, our cabinets and countertops, um, they're in. They actually wanted to come today. They was going to come this afternoon, but... Uh, her husband or something had something else to do and besides uh and then they said tomorrow but i think monkey wants to be here monkey's got to work tomorrow she's got a big day a long day so um they're going to be here next monday so sunday i will be bringing you along with me we're going to rip these out of here and get everything ready 
for them to come in they're talking like it's gonna be one day I don't know if it's only gonna be one day or not now after that's in I still have to change the light switch I'll have to remove or relocate the light switch I've got a uh, over at the stove you know uh, there is a there is a receptacle it's behind our refrigerator right now um, that I will run over and it'll be in the side you'll see once we get this all set up it'll be in the side of the bar that way I can I can plug in mixers and stuff like that um, so anyway just want to let you know that we're happy and we're excited um, so no more call 911 up there <coughs> so there you go guys I mean my personal favorite is this one um, like I said depending on your application you may go I can't never use that little thing now as far as dropping it or longevity I don't know I don't know I mean it's it's Ozark Trail it's cheap Walmart stuff okay so um, but you know I've, I've bought Ozark Trail tents we have one right now it's been awesome every Ozark Trail tent I've ever owned has been awesome I like Ozark Trail and Coleman because they're good products and they're affordable you know for people like me and you and you know um, affordable products and it is it is aluminum and I'm sure I'm gonna be dropping it and like I said I believe it is water resistance I don't I don't think it's waterproof uh, this one's not waterproof I don't even think this one's water resistant though I have had it in the rain with no issues the hyper tough I've never had any issues with that and I've had it in pouring down rain this I wouldn't even consider it uh, this I don't think I'll have a problem with it I used it the other night camping used it in the rain a few times never had an issue with it um, so like I said depending on your application I'll let you be the judge of which one you want to buy but uh, in, in in my situation if you if if you are in you know if your application calls for it the way mine does this is the one you're going to want yeah i mean even for boating this would be fine but speaking of boating if you're boating and you're going to have to have another person up front if you're gator hunting you're going to want this you know this is the one you're going to want um but for backpacking to keep in your toolbox or your glove box you're not going to want this you're going to want this so you know if you're used to using a smaller light and that's your go-to light is a smaller light like a tactical light which this is just like a tactical light only it doesn't say tactical because you look up tactical lights you know 100 lumens 50 bucks 150 lumens 75 80 bucks 15 dollars and you get a headlamp um, and it looks just like a tactical light hell just spray paint that black who the hell's gotta know right but I don't care because uh, I'm not a cheap ass. I just can't afford the good stuff. And in my opinion, if this thing lasts me a year and I got to buy another one and it lasts me a year and I've got to buy another one lasts me a year, you know, come on, think about it. $15 a pop, right? In three years. So you're looking at what? 30, $45. Um, Now I had a friend, he swore by his tactical lights, but he had to buy one every year and a half to two years and he was paying 70 to $80 for him. So I would still be ahead of the game if I got to buy one of these once a year. You follow what I'm saying? Um, but anyway, so just, you know, whatever, if you're used to a big light, you're gonna wanna go for this. If you're used to using smaller lights or just sticking your toolbox or whatever, you're gonna wanna go for this. Stay away from these things, guys. I can't believe they're still selling them. But, I mean, think about it. You know, $10 for a light and you get a battery. But then when you go buy another battery, it's $3, you know. And then another battery is $3. And, and these batteries don't last long. I guarantee you. If I, if, if I left this turned on for an hour, it'd be dead. Uh, I'm sure I got 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes on this one. And it's still bright as hell. This one I know I've got about let's just say 20 minutes on the charge on this one maybe even more and it's still going strong so that's what i like about this this is rechargeable uh so usb it so that's uh that's a good thing about this 
So these two lights are well, well worth the money, guys. The Hyper Tough, it is a, what is it? It's a model 9930. Let me check here and see just to make sure. I'm pretty sure that's what I looked up. Yeah, 3.7 volt rechargeable. Uh, lit, it's a it's a 2,000 milliamp lithium ion battery. It's uh, 7.4 watts. Um, and yes, it is the model 9930. Now this one, I don't know what the wattage is or the milliamp hours because it's it takes three 1.5 uh, volt triple a battery so whatever that would be um the rechargeable is going to have more milliamp hours so that's probably why this is not it doesn't say anything about that because the each battery is different you know in in milliwatt or uh milliamp hour, hours uh so yeah these two are well worth the money they both get a thumbs up but for my uses this is going to be my go-to light we will use this on the boat we will use it camping this is going to be my go-to light uh, working on cars trucks whatever uh, camping night fishing just whatever this is going to be my go-to light like I said and this is going to be my second light I'll call it my second favorite like I said it's on or off that's it this one I can adjust and everything so I'll be using this more but they both get a thumbs up for me the hyper tough and the Ozark Trail Light. So awesome. Um, like I said, it's up to you guys. Whatever you're used to. By all means, I'm not trying to get you to switch from whatever kind of uh, equipment you use or anything like that. I'm not trying to do that. And I'm not trying to push these certain products because I don't work for them. I'm not getting paid for it. But I will tell you, this light is a good light and this light is a good light. I know this light her dad's had a couple years, uh, well, quite a few years. You can see it's dirty. I've dropped it. I'm sure he's dropped it. This thing has been in the rain. It it is it is rubber, you know, right there. I've never never had a had an issue with it. Uh, it does take a little while to charge, but um, I've never run it clear dead. So I just uh, just every so often I'll just plug it in and let it charge up. Um, so there you go, guys. That is my review. Um, you know, if you're looking for cheap lights, those are the two I would recommend right off the bat. Um, don't go out and buy $50 lights, $100 flashlights. They're not worth it, man. Um, to me, in my opinion, they're not worth it. Uh, I, I, if, it. If I was made of money, I don't think I would go out and buy. I'm, st I'm stuck on, you know, I, I love my, my certain tools, you know. Uh, like my favorite tool that I cannot afford is um, is a snap-on I can't afford those I don't like Mac so I will shop at Harbor Freight for certain things um, I gotta get what I can afford <coughs> craftsman wrenches they're okay N nothing in my book compares to snap-on um, a lot of guys like Mac I don't care for them. I don't like the feel of them, and I've broke more Mac tools than I ever broke uh, Snap-on. That's just for an instance. So, like I said, I know this this light here is longevity. It's awesome, and it's very durable. This, like I said, it's aluminum. Um, it's it's you know I mean it's almost the same weight as this, but so it is, but but backpacking, you know, I mean, you gonna take this or you gonna take this? You gonna take this? Car camping, you gonna take this or this? You'll probably take this, in all honesty. But I would take this because I can put it on my on my uh, belt because you, you can get those. You can buy sheets for these things so they can stick in your belt. Um, it's got a lanyard, a little lanyard. You can't put your hand through it. But you can put your fingers through it, and you can hang it on stuff. So. Anyway, guys, enough rambling. I hope that helped, and uh, hope you all have a great week and a better weekend coming up. Um, so just keep in mind, if that helps you, please let me know in the comments below. Or if you have or if you used 
any of these products please let me uh let me know in the comments below and we'll discuss it and chat about it because that's always fun hearing other people's stories and you know somebody might have had one of these that was pure junk because you know you can get you can you can get bad ones i just i know this is a good one uh somebody might might have one of these it, it just stopped working you know who knows but i like to hear in the comments and it also helps um our other viewers too to read through the comments and see who's had what problems or what the characteristics of them are and things like that so please feel free to comment below i would appreciate it and with that being said i'm gonna say shea bear the myth the man legend i'm gone for now y'all have a good one and we'll chat at you soon bye bye and take care